Hi everyone, Don Giannetti, Lighting Dash Essentials, Project 52 Pro Systems, and my own website, Don Giannetti. All of those are dot coms, you know that. So I, I remember when we used to all say HTTP, we don't do that anymore. We don't even do www dot anymore. And for me, I'm even leaving off the dot com now because I ain't got time. Anyway, this is a, a little bit of a uh, discussion on uh, competitiveness and being ready for the uh, for the market. Um, the changes that we see in photography, especially professional photography, and that's who I'm talking about here and who I'm talking to uh, in professional photography have been profound. Uh, digital has come along. Um, we have uh, more photographers. It's so much easier to become a photographer today than it was 40 years ago. Uh, we don't have dark rooms anymore. We don't have all that expense. Um, I spent $150,000 my first two years of being a photographer and I'm in a kitchen and studio and gear and black book pages and all of that, or workbook pages, all that crap. Uh, we don't do that anymore. You can become a photographer for well under, t under well under 10 grand. Uh, that's a, that's lowered the bar. And when the bar gets lowered, it lets more people in. Now, the reality is that there are fewer of the types of clients that were around a dozen years ago, uh, but there's more clients overall. And the challenge that I see when young photographers come to me or older photographers come to me and they say, uh, I need to up my game. The challenge is when I look at their work, I'm not seeing work that is ready for today's marketplace. Today's marketplace is, in a word, brutal. There's a lot of really good photographers, but there's a shit ton of Me Too photographers. The Me Too photographer is, hey, I see that guy over there, he's doing this cool thing with, with uh, Lightroom. I can do that. And my work will be just like his. Oh, I saw what she was doing. She uses these two presets and then desaturates the image and then pulls it up just a little bit in contrast. And I, I can do that. That'll be my style too. Yeah, that really never works out. Really hardly ever works out for the originator of the style if all they're doing is playing in Photoshop. It's just not going to work in the long run. Because anybody can do it. And if anybody can do it, somebody will. What I see is a, a decision to be in the middle of the pack. A decision that says, oh, I don't want to offend anybody with my work, or I don't want to be too far out there with my work, so I'm going to do good old middle-of-the-road work. Boring as fuck, but hey, it looks like everybody else's boring as fuck work. That's uh, that's not it. It's not going to work, and uh, it's not going to work going forward. Um, there will be clients, for sure, that want you to do mediocre, everybody else uh, work for them. That's true and you can do that uh, that's called cash flow but if you're going to get noticed that's where you got to up your game if you show a portfolio that's full of work that anybody else can do somebody else will do it cheaper than you if all you got is price you got nothing your experience your professionalism all of that stuff counts, but your image has got to rock. They got to be the upper 10%, not the stuff in the middle. Uh, I, I did a, a, an article on this, and I want you to uh, go read it. I'll, I'll link below. But in there, I have a link to flatware advertising on Google. So what you do is, I've already got it there for you, flatware, 
flatware advertising. Now, flatware is like spoons and forks and plates and stuff. Pretty interesting stuff. I mean, you can make some really cool shots with spoons, forks, and knives. You really can. You can really break out the box. You click on the button, get ready for some eye bleach. Because it's just, I mean, just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But every once in a while, as you're scrolling down at four and a half mile scroll of just terrible, terrible stuff, one or two will catch your eye. Go, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's different. Wow, that really pops out. That's where your work needs to be. Your work needs to be one that people, oh, that really pops out. You got to push really, really hard. It's it's hard also to do that. I think it's somewhat challenging for us as photographers, as creative photographers, uh, pick up almost any local magazine. I'm here in, in uh, Phoenix, and uh, I won't mention any name magazine names by name, but there's a prominent magazine in Phoenix. And when I pick that up and I look at the photography in there, it's heartbreakingly mediocre at best. It's and whose fault is that? Photographer? I don't know. I I I dare not go there. I've been a pro for too many years and I've seen what designers and art directors have done with my work. So I'm not going to go there. But I'm going to tell you that there's a lack of interesting um, work, interesting design, interesting layouts, interesting choices. And so everything sort of comes to the middle, becomes vanilla. It's like pop music when all the highs and the lows are all <laughs> squeezed down together and you get um, the, the background for the Backstreet Boys or um, whatever that is. And, and it all sounds the same. You can't tell the drums from the guitar. You can't tell good from bad. You can't tell whatever. You look at the photographs and you think, well, I could have done that. So could the guy across the street. And probably the lady down the street who shoots kids and babies on the weekends with her rebel could probably do a pretty good job with that shot too. So anybody could do it. Anybody. What's the point? We're going to go and look at a bunch of pictures anybody could do? I don't think that's how we get the work. We get the work by presenting images that other people can't do. Just us, our view, our point of view, our reference points, our vision. That's what it is. So it's not, it's not a blast. It's not a thing to blast anybody. I'm not picking on people. I'm just saying that to get noticed, it's a body of work that you have that brings people in, that lets them see What's unique about you? Because if there's nothing unique about you, why in God's name would anybody hire you? Oh, well, you're a nickel cheaper, I guess. So that's on that toboggan ride to the bottom, baby. The people who are really going to make it in the next five years, and, and believe me, a lot of photographers are going to do very well. A lot of them are doing very well. Photography's not dead. People who tell you photography's dead are people who maybe in the middle, maybe they're providing their clients the same old shit they can get anywhere else. I'm just saying, could be, right? Could be they got nothing to offer except taking it down a notch. Work hard. Create something of real value. Stand by it. Client hires you to do something, do it. It's, if it's boring and stupid and it's a waste of photographic energy, do it. Give them exactly what they want. And then you do your thing. You do something that makes it rock. If you have to spend four more hours on it, spend four more hours on it. If you have to keep it overnight and spend all day the next day, do that so that you can at least have something of quality, something of vision. Show it to the client. Maybe the client goes, wow, that's really cool, and they run with it. Okay. That would be cool. At least you end up with something that shows you care 
about your photographic and visual integrity. And in the end, folks, that's all we have is our own integrity in this business. Hey, listen, if you like uh, some of the ramblings and things I do here, hit the subscribe button and the little bell thing and it'll ring and present delightful stuff for you all the time. Um, and if you, uh, if you have anything that you'd like to say, put it down on comments. I'll, uh, I'll read every comment and answer appropriately. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time.